Hey guys, so today I'm gonna show you my favorite portable projector that I found to date. So that is coming up. Hey guys, Tim here from Canon Tech TV. On this channel, I do projector reviews, tips, tricks, all that kind of stuff. So if you like that and you're into projectors, maybe setting up a home theater, definitely check out my playlist and hit that subscribe button now. So guys, this is honestly the best portable projector that I've tried to date. I'm not just saying that, this is the Lenovo M1 portable projector. You can see just by the size here, how small this is. It's great because it has a tripod thread on the bottom here. It's a standard quarter inch thread, so you can use any type of tripod with that. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with that. But you could use something like this that I had with a different projector this actually came with. Uh, this is literally just a cheap plastic tripod. And you know, they have those little octopus ones on Amazon. Like you can literally probably get a five or a $10 little tripod that you can use with this because this is so small too so you don't need to go crazy and get a fancy expensive big one or anything like that so why is this the best portable projector that i've tried it's 480p but all 480p is not the same this does look pretty good it's got 200 anti lumens so the brightness i was actually pleasantly surprised with using this even in like a somewhat lit room and just kind of messing around with it in daytime to see what it could do it actually looked pretty decent definitely at nighttime it's gonna be plenty bright for pretty much all nighttime circumstances in my opinion and i like that there are different connection options so you have on the side of it here you can actually open up this little panel and you do have a full-size hdmi input right here you also have USB and then you've got your little power input right there to charge the device. But the other cool thing is that with this, you can actually wirelessly mirror things to it. And that's what I did with my phone. I have an Android phone and I was able to wirelessly mirror things way easier than with other options. Sometimes it's pretty complicated and you gotta like either do a QR code and you know cast and you know go to a website, type in a certain you know address with a bunch of numbers. So the way that you connected to this, it actually gave you a tutorial when you powered this up and it was very intuitive, very easy to do. So I wouldn't have any worries about that if you've had maybe some bad experiences with other, you know, Android operating systems and casting and using screen mirroring for iOS, for Android. This was a lot more simple. And literally to turn this on, this has a built-in screen cover, which is really nice. You literally just flip this over. And when you flip it over all the way and you open it fully, you'll feel it kind of engage and it will kick on. And within a few seconds, you'll have the light beaming out of the projector. The only thing is if you kind of open this up, but you don't fully engage it at the end, that might be why it's not turning on fully if you think something's wrong with it. But just make sure that you kind of get the little click all the way at the end and it'll turn on and you'll be good to go. In literally just a matter of minutes, I had this casted from my phone and I was playing some YouTube videos on the screen of my bedroom. So let's jump over to that clip. I'll show you that right now. All right guys, so we're here in my bedroom. So I'm gonna show you just laying down here, having this projector next to you, what kind of experience you can get. And it's pretty cool because you can't do this with many projectors, but I'm gonna show you if you wanna be really lazy, what you can accomplish with a pocket projector like this. Boom, we're on. Now the cool thing about this is this actually has automatic keystone correction and it's electronic. So it's pretty neat because once this actually gets booted up, this should actually correct as well and adjust. There we go. So it may look a little different here if I kind of move this GoPro over. It is actually adjusted correctly. You know, it's gonna look like there's a little bit of a keystone kinda to you guys looking at this, but pretty darn cool. You can put that up on your ceiling. You can see I've got some lights on and stuff here. And again, this is with a light on. So let me show you real quick. Alexa, turn off the bedroom. So there we go, pretty sweet. I'll show you again real quick. I mean, I've got the projector right here. I've got on that little tripod. And uh, that tripod is a very budget tripod that you can easily get. Again, look at that. Pretty sweet that you could have this up on your you know, ceiling like this. You could be streaming YouTube, whatever. Uh, so if you're going to use this in like a hotel or really take this for travel, it's pretty darn neat because it is a good portable option and it can give you some entertainment while you're on the road. All right. Now you see how big that is there. So it is on the floor now. I just have it on the carpet sitting there and this is a lot bigger let me see if 
you guys can see. So seeing me, so I mean, I think you can see this well enough. You can see my bathroom door over here. You know, there's a dresser here. Um, here's Alexa, turn on the bedroom. I mean, here's a queen size bed, okay? Queen size bed. Alexa, turn off the bedroom. So you see how big that bed was there. I mean, here is the picture up on the ceiling. So that's a pretty big picture. That's probably 80 inches across, I would say, if I had to guess. So again, I can come over here, lay down on the bed, and you've got this up on the ceiling there. And again, it's 480p, looks pretty good. It, you know, auto keystone corrects, which is pretty neat. Uh, so it pretty much does the work for you. And so you got touch controls here. Uh, it's got volume controls, you know, home, back, all the stuff that you would typically need. It actually does have a focus thing here too. So it does have auto keystone correction and like auto focus. But if for some reason the focus is not sharp, you basically tap this little button right in the middle, the red indicator, and then you kind of drag it either forward or back by touch. And you'll kind of see though, there's actually almost like a gear icon that'll show you kind of the focus as it's happening. And it actually does work pretty well. It's really not that hard. It's actually, I would say almost a little more pleasant than using just the manual keystone and focus correction on your other larger projectors. So the speakers on here are actually pretty decent in my opinion. Obviously if you're using it in a more noisy environment or maybe you're having it outside and you're having like more of a group watching something on here, you're probably going to want to hook up to Bluetooth because this does have Bluetooth connectivity. It's Bluetooth 4.1. So you can hook up a Bluetooth speaker and that's definitely going to upgrade the sound quality. That's typically what I recommend anyway, even for full size projectors because typically those don't have the best sound anyway. So some things to know that kind of like with an MHL, cable if you mirror your phone to this you can't mirror copyrighted apps like netflix hulu those type of things so this does have the built-in android operating system so the way around that is to use that stuff already on board here so i just signed into youtube and i was just using youtube through this so you kind of would have to do the same thing for those other streaming services just you know sign in on the actual device here and then that's one more thing that you don't have to worry about you do have a remote and you can use the remote for navigation on that stuff and that experience with the remote was actually a lot better as well. Have the one button you can kind of press and you can almost go into like a scrolling mode versus, you know, the mouse mode. And it was just a lot better experience than other projectors that I've used in the past with other Android interfaces. So it wasn't hard at all to actually navigate YouTube and actually scroll. And you can kind of jump from one line to the next and go through different, you know, playlists and recommendations right there on the home screen. And as far as the battery life on this, they say you can get up to about three hours. I'd say it probably depends on, you know, what you are exactly doing and the circumstances. I think I got about two hours and 15 minutes out of this on average especially like with setting it up the first time and everything and then i basically was able to watch a couple long youtube videos like 40 30 minute videos some vlogs and then it was dying on me so i think i got about more like two hours 20 minutes there's a 7,000 milliamp hour battery in here and there are three modes there's like a battery saving mode standard mode and they say like a highlight mode so i was probably using more in that standard mode which is why i got more like two hours 15 minutes but if you wanted to use it a little bit longer you know you could you do have the option to connect this to power there so you can also do that and uh, keep it powered while you're watching. And the last thing is, let me just say, I thought the auto keystone correction on here would be a gimmick. Thought it might not work well, I was a little bit skeptical, but honestly, this thing worked great with that auto keystone correction. I was pointing it up at the ceiling and it would look perfect. I was pointing at the wall at an angle. So that's awesome with a device like this, because like I mentioned, I would recommend using it with like a little tripod, just picking up something really cheap. You're gonna have that probably up at a little bit of an angle, depending on where you have this to say if it's on like a table in front of you or something like that then that kind of causes issues a keystone correction that is manual on most other options and a standard projector a lot of time in the budget range especially is not the best you get fuzziness around the edges and that type of stuff with this it corrected and it was pretty crisp and clear around the edges i didn't have any issues whatsoever with it so this is very user friendly and very easy to use even if you really don't know kind of what you're doing so guys i would highly recommend this like i said this is honestly the best portable projector that I've tested out to date. So right now it's on Amazon for $350. They have a $20 coupon at the moment. Obviously that stuff can change, but there will be a link down here below in the description.
description. If you purchased through there and if you found this video helpful, that does help me out, so I would really appreciate it. But if you're looking at projectors, like I said, I got a whole budget projector playlist here and I've reviewed many other projectors. I got a bunch of tips and tricks and things like that on how to get the best audio and all that kind of stuff. So definitely hit that subscribe button if that's something you're interested in or if maybe you're setting up a home theater for the first time, want to do an outdoor movie night, whatever it may be. So thank you guys for watching with me here today and I'll see you on the next one.